Right now, I wanna talk about that awkward situation that you might be in where you own a home, but you wanna buy a new home, or maybe you wanna build a new home. How do you do that? What's the process? What do people do in that situation? So really when it comes down to it, as loan officers and lenders, we can't qualify you or lend you money based on what we think might happen in the future. So we can't exclude any payments. So if you have a mortgage on a home, we have to calculate that into your debt to income ratio. So what we would do is we would just fill out the application and see what your debt to income ratio looks like. So depending on the new home that you wanna buy or build, you might qualify for both payments at the same time, in which case you can just stay in that home while the new home is being built or while you're shopping for the new one and not worry about what you need to do in that scenario. However, you know, working with borrowers and other, you know, just life, experiencing it with friends and family members, typically what I've seen people do is move in with a family member or something, you know, a short-term rental while they're shopping for the new home. And that way, the mortgage that they have will go away and they don't have to add that into their debt to income ratio. So that's the most common way that I've seen it play out. But if you could afford both payments, that could be an option as well. Now, before you jump into any of that stuff, before you even think about selling the home or anything like that, I would always recommend reaching out to a lender or loan officer to see what you would qualify for um, so you could run a scenario. So you could say, hey, here's what I want to do. I'm going to sell the house. If I did not have the house, you know, what would my DTI be without the house? So that is a situation or scenario you would look at knowing that you would be able to qualify for whatever you're looking to do after you sold the home. So you want to make sure that your income and employment's in good standing. You want to make sure that your credit report looks good and things like that of that nature. So you want to make sure that all of that, the loan officer knows everything so they know the complete scenario so they can figure it out. Now there are other products out there. We don't have them, but there are banks and other lenders that could do short-term loans like bridge loans. However, you would still have to qualify for both payments on those, but those are short-term loans, typically interest only, where you're trying to bridge the gap, right, from moving from one home to the next home. So short-term loan, but still, you have to qualify for both payments, and there might be some down payment requirement for that as well. So it's not the best answer, but that's what I've seen in a lot of situations. So people, you know, run that scenario first to see what you would qualify for before you even think about putting a house on the market, right? If you already own a home, you don't wanna be homeless, you don't wanna put yourself in a situation where that's gonna be at risk. So make sure that you get pre-approved and pre-qualified first, um, you know, running the scenario that what would my situation look like if I did sell the house? And then in the meantime, friend and family member I've seen people move in with or short-term rentals, different things like that. So it just kinda, you know, it depends on your situation and where you are, but that's what I have personally seen a lot of people do. So, you know, hopefully that helps, but yeah, that would be the starting point is to reach out. If you make a lot of money and your current mortgage payment is really low right now, you know, it might there might be a good chance that you could qualify for both payments at the same time. Another thing that we could look at is if you're trying to rent the house out that you currently own, you know, you would have to be in a pretty good situation. You want to make sure that you have some reserves on hand, but there are ways that if you're planning to rent out the home, we can offset that mortgage payment, you know, assuming that you're going to have a renter in there. There's ways that we can do that. It involves an appraiser and things like that, but you could look at that scenario as well if you were thinking about keeping the home as a rental. So kind of you know, a couple different things that we can do with that. It's kind of nuanced and it depends on the situation, but you know, first step, reach out, talk to somebody about your scenario and what it would look like. So hopefully that helps. You're trying to buy a new home or, you know, build a new home, but you currently own a home. It's kind of a gray zone. It's kind of a weird place to be, but there are ways to get it done that put the least amount of stress and strain on the family with moving and everything. So please feel free to like and subscribe for more mortgage tips.